What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive rank double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a banger for you guys today. Today, we are going to be showcasing arguably the best team in the game at this moment. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that by clicking that big red subscribe button and join the community. Seriously, it goes a long way. Shout out to everybody who supported me as a content creator. But let's get started here with the team preview. We'll start off overall. Like I said, this seems arguably the best team in the on the ladder right now. It features Groudon, Charizard, Zacian, like three insanely strong Pokemon, and all these Pokemon synergy just work together super, super well, and they cover pretty much every single type. And so, really good team. Cannot wait to showcase it off and grab ourselves a win. But let's get started here in that top left corner with the one and only Zacian. Cannot have a best team without Zacian, considering, you know, this is the best Pokemon. So it cannot be a best team without the best Pokemon in the format. We got Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword as item and ability, and then we're rocking out with the normal moveset of Iron Head, Player Off, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Right next to him is going to be our lovely Assault Vest Groudon with the Drought ability. We got Precipice Blades for a ground stab move, Fire Punch for fire coverage and big damage in the Drought, Stone Edge and Heavy Slam both for our coverage moves. Cannot go wrong with this Pokemon, gotta love him. And he's super bulky with that Assault Vest. Makes him a bit more bulky on the special defense side. We can soak up some more shots and stay in the battle a little bit longer. Middle left is going to be the one and only Charizard. Probably, arguably, him or Venusaur is the best Drought Pokemon, but I really do like Charizard just to, because of its move pool and how good it is with its G-Max move. It's got Solar Power and the Charty Berry, so we can actually eat up a Rock Shot. Then we got Blast Burn, Ancient Power, Hurricane, and Protect for an absolutely amazing moveset, especially when you Dynamax this Pokemon or G-Max it, whatever you want to call it. You get a G-Max move with the uh, Wildfire damage. You got the Hurricane, which is Stab plus Speed Boost, and then you have the Ancient Power for coverage, and more importantly, for Weather Control when you Dynamax. Middle right is going to be Incineroar. I'm going to stop there. You guys already know how good this Pokemon is. The only difference from this normal one is it's holding the Shuka Berry instead of the Citrus Berry. We good? We good? If you guys want to check it out, he's right there. I'm done, I'm done speaking about Incineroar. He's on every single team. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Storm Drink Astron. Storm Drink Astron is super well just to counter up on Kyogre teams. Just really good posing a threat with that ability. We also have Leftovers as item, and then we're rocking Ice Beam Earth Power for both one stab move and one coverage move, and then we got Yawn and Protect for our two little support moves. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be our Screens Grimstarl. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys absolutely know that this Pokemon right here is one of my favorites to use on the support side. Just Light Clay, Prankster, Light Screen, and Reflect. That's all I need on a Grimstarl, and I'm loving it. We also got Spirit Break, and we got Thunder Wave for Speed Control, so you cannot go wrong with this support Pokemon. Guys, if you want to try the team for yourself, I don't even have to say. The rental code is chilling right at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on the ranked up ladder. Let's get some wins with the best team at this moment. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a very, very similar team. Same Pokemon, except for Grimmsnarl and Porygon too. That's the only difference from both these teams. How should we do this? How should we get after this? Um, Do I even bring Groudon? I feel like I have to. Groudon just posed a threat on a lot of these Pokemon. So you know what? I might lead Groudon and Charizard. It'll be really good for us. It'll definitely be good for us. If he pops Trick Room, he pops Trick Room. That's okay. But then who, who, who would he go into from there? Gastrodon? It's fine. We're going to go these two. I'm going to bring Zacian, obviously, because you know that is the best Pokemon. And last but not least, we got Rock and Cinnamon, right? We got Rock and Cinnamon, but I'm trying to set the sun. I'm trying to get right after this battle. We're going to probably Dynamax Charizard right off the rip. Let's like grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But before we even get started with the battle, you guys know question of the day is due for an answer. What three Pokemon do you want to see return for Gen 9? Obviously, there's probably going to be like over 400 Pokemon that return for Gen 9, but give me three, your top three Pokemon that you want Gen 9 to have. For me, I definitely want Breloom in there. I love Breloom. I'm not going to say any starters because like, you know, starters are starters and like, can't start, they're not going to be in there. If, if I could, I would love to have Sceptile in there, like Empoleon. But I'm going to definitely take Breloom, and I think I'm going to take Sharpedo in there too. I absolutely love Sharpedo. And Excadrill. Excadrill is one of my favorites, so I'm going to throw Excadrill up in that category too. So there's my top three. Those are definitely my top three who I want to see return. I just love those Pokemon so much. I really do. But we both go in with the same exact combo. The same exact combo. And from here, you know what? I'm just going to Dynamax. I'm just going to drop Rockfall. I'm going to get straight after this. Rockfall into... Actually, whoa, 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 no, we're not Dynamaxing Groudon. We are not Dynamaxing Groudon. <laughs> That's the last thing we're doing. I will drop a Blades, I think. Where do I go Fire Punch? Maybe look for a Burn. A Burn could be phenomenal. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to look for a Burn on him, and I'm going to drop a nice little G-Max Rock. I'm with it all day. Let's do it. Let's get rolling with this Pokemon. I wonder if he's going to Dynamax, too. He Dynamax, and he comes out on top. Is this a Speed Tie? He might just outspeed me here. Hopefully, he's not rocking Mac rock, rock, rock Ball, but we do have the Charity Berry just eat that up. So hopefully we're rocking the Charity Berry so we can eat it up. And he's not rocking the Charity Berry so we can just dump on him. <laughs> that will be really, really good. But I'm looking for a burn on the ground. That could really be be very good for us, especially up against a physical attacker like Groudon. So we'll see how this one plays out. 
we shall see how this one plays out. We do have the assault vest on our Groudon, which is really good as well. So if he is taking a shot with his Charizard into my Groudon, we should be able to soak it up, no problem. This what, what moves is he really rapping? He, he could have overgrowth. He could have overgrowth, which could pose a little threat, but I still see my Groudon eating that up because the it's just coverage. It is just a coverage move. So double G-Max Charizard out in the field. Double Groudon out on the field, and we outspeed. It was a speed tie. His animation came out first, but it's a speed tie. Our rock ball comes through, and we just get rid of the charge. GG's right. Game over. Did we just do that? Did we just do that? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. So it was a speed tie, and his Dynamax animation came out first. I'd be a little upset if I was him. I would definitely be a little upset because that just that just honeyed him. It definitely honeyed him. He really did think that that was going to happen. He goes to a Stone Edge. We are rocking a Charity Berry, which is absolutely amazing. Oh, and we did change up the weather. I did not think about that. And thank you, Mr. Charity Berry. Thank you, Mr. Charity Berry, for allowing us to eat up that shot. But it actually works out good because the solar power doesn't take us out anymore. And we're going to get this burn, right? No, no burn. Cool. So solar power doesn't take us out anymore. Um, I should be fastest on the field, right? Unless he brings out Zacian. I don't think he is going to bring out Zacian, right? He brings out Incineroar. Now, is he going to fake me out? I could guard. I could guard, and this Buffet will not take me out, right? I'm thinking of doing that. Buffet shouldn't take me out, right? 116. 13 times 16. Doing it in the heads real quick. That's tough math. That is tough math. I'm trying to do it real quick. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. I think we should be good. Right? I think we should be good. We're going to drop a Blades, obviously. And, you know, we're just going to go for a guard here. I think guarding is fine, right? Buffet should not be able to take me out. That's real tough news here. It's cutting it close. We might live on one HP. But I just think this thing's gonna go for a fake out and try to take me out, right? He withdraws him and he's gonna go into yo, go in his ass. Go in his ass. Goes in his ass. This could be good for us. This could be real good for us. This blades can get off some huge damage on these guys. Let's see what he goes for. We're guarding here. We're hoping he's going for the fake out to look for the kill, right? Yes, he is. So he goes for the fake out looking for the kill. We're gonna block it and we're just gonna go straight into this blades. And who dodged it? Oh no, he's holding the sugar berry. That's cool. He's holding the sugar berry. We're gonna hit up onto his ass and we love it. Getting off some big old damage. Uh, send it that way. Loving it. Loving that damage. Now my only question is, can my boy eat up this buffet? He does. So great call for us. My math was correct. I thought he was gonna go down to like uh, two or one. So that works out fine. So we're just gonna blaze from here. And if we can get off a of wildfire, obviously that's what we wanna do. But this guy is really sitting in a tough position because only Zassian outspeeds us. And at this point, we should be able to take out Zassian, no problem. Because it's like, yo, do I hit the Groudon? Or do I uh, let the Wildfire come out here? He withdraws the instant war. That's a fine call for me. And he's going to go into Groudon. So I might hard swap uh, Groudon after this turn. Just to get out instant war, just for an, a big old Intimidate. He's going to switch up the weather. So Solar Power is going to take us out. And I wonder what Zassian's doing here. Zassian's going to go for a Behemoth Blade in the Groudon. We love that turn. Is that in the ground? It is, yo. Oh my god. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Because that allows my Charizard to get off one more turn. And more importantly, have this wildfire damage for the next four turns. So we take out Zacian and like, dude, the wildfire damage is OP. I think out of like the four turns, if your Pokemon stays on the field the whole time, it's like more than half. It's like three-fourths of his HP. It is ridiculous. Blade's gonna fly here. This thing dodge it, he dodge it, it's all good. I'm cool with that. Charizard's gonna drop out here, and now he has to go into Incineroar and Groudon, which is his final two Pokemon. And at this point, I'm just gonna intimidate him with Incineroar and just kind of just like maybe hard swap out. Have the wildfire damage just slowly chip away. Because we still have Zacian in the back end, so I might as well go into this. Have his intimidate come out here, and then I'm just gonna parting shot in his Zacian. Go off from there, right? Seems really good. Unless ooh, he's probably going for blades here, right? He could definitely go for blades. Could definitely go for blades. We do not like blades. We do not like blades whatsoever. We have the Shuka Berry so we can eat it up. We do indeed have the Shuka Berry. That lovely little Shuka Berry. So from here, I'm going for a, obviously a blades into you, and I'm gonna go for a. I could fake out. I fake out his ground on. I'm kind of with it. We're gonna try to fake out his ground on. See how this one plays. Fake out's gonna come out here. Mwah. Hopefully, he's trying to pick out my instant or and I just want to tie. Fake out comes out from him. And yes, he is. Oh my god, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Couldn't have been a better turn for us. Blade's gonna fly through here. Who just dodged it? Who dodged it? Who dodged it? Of course, Incineroar dodged it. Wildfire's chipping away. Yo, look at that damage chip. Look at that damage chip. 
you gotta love it you gotta love it so from here uh what do i do good parting shot parting shot could definitely be the player so i get off another intimidate yeah we're gonna go blades and i'm just gonna try to parting shot out onto incineroar here is it incineroar or do we do we do groudon we should do incineroar here i'm not dealing with him we already have minus one on both of them, so if I can party shot, that could be really good for us again. My ground on outspeeds everything. That's some big old damage onto those guys. And we could have just taken out the ground on here. But he's going to go for a blaze of his own. We do have Shukaberry still, which is gorgeous. And my ground on might be able to eat this up. He has minus one. I would love it. Let's see. Make it happen, ground on. Nope. Our ground on goes down. Of course our ground on goes down. Of course our ground on goes down here. So now we're going to drop a nice little parting shot here. We're going to put that thing to minus one. And now we're just going to send out. Oh, is he going for a flare blitz? could be tough but he, he's minus two now. he's minus two so we should be able to eat this we should be able to eat this and ground on goes down to wildfire damage for so we just want to play it safe start dropping that thing's attack and rolling out from here let's see what he goes for darkest lariat hopefully if i had to guess it would be more so a darkest lariat than a flare blitz which it could be a flare blitz let's see yeah darkest lariat that's cool if it was a flare blitz that would have did a lot more damage but he's minus two about to be minus three look at that easy eats all day we were just out playing our opponent ground on's going down to the wildfire damage that's why i said Zassy made a bad call, not going after my Charizard. Charizard could just set that up easily. Now we bring back out Incineroar, Intimidate popping, and this is why this team is so strong. Like, every single Pokemon on this team is super, super good. Like, Incineroar is great at swapping out, just Intimidate control up against physical attackers. Zassy is just the best in the game. Groudon's doing work. Charizard's amazing in the sun. It's just, it's just ridiculous. We're going to fake out. We're going to drop a nice little Sacred Sword, but I believe our opponent is going to cancel the battle, and that's going to be GG's, right? That is right. Want to know? Let's go hop into battle number two. Look to go back to back. Second battle coming at you guys. Let's go back to back. We are rocking out up against a Kyogre team with Palkia, Zapdos, Kartana, Incineroar, and Indeed. So definitely like totally different teams. He's got the rain team. I got the heat team. We got to We got to take weather control, but I do not want to lead my boy. I kind of want to just, just like leave him in the back end and take weather control later. So I might actually lead the Charizard. I think I might lead the Charizard and go from there. Go Charizard and into go Incineroar. Just kind of like parting shot out or just even like go for a fake out or just hard swap. Definitely, definitely an option. So I think I'm gonna go them, them too. Actually, I'm not gonna bring Incineroar. I'm not gonna bring Incineroar. You know, we're gonna lead you, and we're gonna lead you. Screens that, we're gonna bring Storm Drain, and then we're just gonna bring Weather Control. I'm with that, right? And maybe Dynamax or Groudon later? I'm really leaning towards that. I'm liking it. Let's lock it in, let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yeah, we had Storm Drain Gash on, and I totally forgot about it. I was just like, why would I not bring Storm Drain Gash on? I think it's just a menace. Thing is a menace up against Kyogre's. Especially if he's trying to get the rain and I'm trying to get the drought. If he gets the rain, I'm just get that uh, gash on in there and we're going to get rolling out from there. Let's see who he actually goes into. Let's see this dude's lead. He's going to go out into... Ba -ba -ba -bum. Palkia and Kyogre. Ooh, son of a biscuit. Okay. So from here, I could, do a, I could do a lot. I could do a lot. I could do a lot. I could set up a late screen. I could protect this turn. I might protect, set up a late screen, and then like maybe Thunder Wave starts slowing down. What kind of options here? A lot of options. Light screen could definitely do us good. I'm thinking of just doing this and just protecting you this turn. I'm with it all day. Just allowing him to do his move. Because he might Dynamax to Palkia. If I get off the light screen, yo, we could be thriving. Then I can just start paralyzing from there. He's just going to withdraw Palkia. It's fine by me. Who's he going to go into? Who are you throwing out into here? Incineroar's going to come out here. Cool with that. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I am cool with that. Text can come out for my boy. And I wonder what uh, what Kyogre's doing. I do wonder what Kyogre's doing. We're setting up the light screen. I might swap my uh into my Groudon next turn. Water Spout's gonna fly here. It's fine by me. Water Spout's flying. My boy's able to soak. Okay, so there's that. We do have an assault vest on. Um, I'm thinking just going into a Thunder Wave here, doing that and hard swapping. Could hard swap into Gastron here. Which is probably more so my play. Right? Allowing him to go for water spouts. And just have my uh, Grimstar go down here. That's fine. We're hoping he's going for a water spout. He can go for the fake out. He can go for the water spout. We're going to hard swap into Storm Drink Ash. And I'm predicting the uh, the water move, obviously. But more importantly, we're going to drop a nice little Thunder Wave here. And we're going to get rolling from here. So there's that. Let's see how this one plays out here. He goes for a U-turn. He's pivoting out. My boy should be able to soak this up all day. Look at that. Gasho just soaking. Actually, did more damage than I thought. That did more damage than I thought. We're hoping he's going for the water spout. He's going to swap back into... I think he's going to go into uh, Palkia again, right? 
I feel like Palkia is coming back out here. Or is he showing his fourth? He's bringing, gonna bring back out Palkia. So Palkia comes back out here. Water Spout coming out here. My Storm Drain is poking. And more importantly, well, not more importantly, but my guy, my Grimstarl does go down here. The Grimstarl is dropping. I think it's time to actually bring out Roudon, right? This is tough because he can really just like kind of control weather from there. So I'm trying to think. We could bring out Groudon and just Dynamax him. You have speed all day. I'm gonna go Zassian here. I'm gonna go back into Zassian. I think he's gonna hard swap his Kyogre, maybe. So I might just take a sword in that slot. What do I wanna do? Or I can just play rough across here. Play rough is not bad, and then we can just Earth Power this way. Or I could yawn. I could definitely yawn. Options, options, options. I'm gonna do that. We'll play this one slow all day. I think he's gonna swap into the uh, Incineroar. Yep. Big old swap skis. Back into the Incineroar. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. I definitely should have Earth Powered. But Yawn is really, really good. Especially up against a Palkia. Palkia, I'm waiting for the scene of Dynamax. Let's see what he does. Playoffs gonna fly through here. Did we really miss that? Did we really miss our play rough? Got my face. Shrikram's gonna poke. Oh, dude, let's Dynamax the, uh... Do we Dynamax the Gastro now? I'm I'm with Dynamax and Gastro here. Just going into a Quake. I'm with the Dynamax and the Gastro. That thing's gonna go to sleep next turn. He's not gonna Dynamax him. I'm just gonna stay in here. I'm gonna drop a Secret Sword. Actually, I'm not gonna drop a Secret Sword. I'm going to uh, play rough still onto that this slot right here. Is he, he's not gonna Dynamax with a Yawn on him. No shot. And I'm just gonna Dynamax Gastro at this point. Gastro is plus one. Might as well go into it, right? It's the withdrawal of that Pokemon. Saw that all day. And he's going to go maybe back into Kyogre here? Kartana's going to poke out here. Okay. Okay. Kartana's fine. I'm cool with Kartana. That's cool with me. I'm fine with that. Because <laughs> now we can actually get out. We could get out Groudon soon. A Fire Punch is four times super effective on that thing. And we resist a lot of his shots. Except for his Grass Moves. He does rock Grass Moves. Grass Moves are scary. But we are slower because of Trick Room. Trick Room will benefit us a little bit here. We can see what this guy's doing. He's going for the fake out. Oh, into that slot. We love that turn. We like that turn a lot. We like that turn a lot. Quake's going to fly through it. This should actually pick up a KO. And more importantly, give us that special defense boost, right? Yes, sir. Big time KO. Gash not coming out here. But yo, me and our opponent are playing really well right now. We're swapping. We're playing it slow. We're like waiting for one of us to bite. But I had the bite here. I was just like, this is my chance to bite. Isa up, Trick Room. Let's get Gash rolling. And we had a yawn on the Palkia, forcing a swap. Playoff's going to poke here. Shipping up some damage. We're waiting for him to get out Kyogre. Because if he can get out Kyogre, we could be sitting great. But the scary part is, is that Kartana right now? That Kartana can go for a grass move but absolutely dump on me. It could just murder me instantly. And I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> I do not know what to do about it. He brings out, back out Palkia. I think he is going to Dynamax Palkia. But I'm still going to go for a Sacred Sword if we can get it. But do I go for Quake into that thing? Yeah, I have to go for a stab move here. We're going to Quake into that Kartana. I need that thing gone. I need him gone. I'm trying to force him to bring out Kyogre just so I can change up the weather and have weather control for the rest of the battle. But yeah, Palkia's getting the Dynamax. He's ready to rock. We just need to be able to take out this Kartana in one shot. I know we will outspeed it. I know we should be thriving. He can't go for a Geyser, which is great. He's going to have to go. He can't even go for a Worm one. Oh, he Dynamax. Great call by him. Ends up Dynamaxing Kartana, which is a beautiful call by him. I'll give it to him all day. I'll give it to him all day. That's a great call by him. But I wonder what movie... He has to protect his Palkia, right? He doesn't. I wonder what movie he's going for with Palkia. Let's see. He's going too quick. Is that KO? Oh, my lord. Get out my face. Yo, get out my face. We just put this thing on one. We just put that thing on one. Now my, now my gosh, on dead all day. Overgrowth thrice, flies through here. And now he read the speed, right? Now we can go for a water move all day. That is so whack. That is so whack we died of that. Show, show me that thing's life form. Show me that thing's life form. Get out my face. Get out of my face. Because now this Palkia can go for a water move freely, man. Freely. No way. No way that thing lived on one. Please do not. What's, what's this thing going for? Are we going to lose a battle to a free Focus Sash? Do not go for a water move. He goes for Earth Power. Can we soak that? I think we should be able to. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. All day. Palkia or Zacian should be able to take out Palkia. Lay her offline. Take him out. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Big time chaos. Now he's forced to bring out Kyogre. We're going to bring out our Groudon. Actually, did we even bring out Groudon yet? 
Do we even bring out ground? But dude, that's so whack. Dude, this thing's on one. This thing is on one. This thing is on one HP. One HP. And I have to bring out my ground. Oh my lord. In this game, this game. Hopefully my weather takes control here. Hopefully my weather takes control here. Hopefully my boys. Actually, Trick Room's gonna give it to the. Does Trick Room switch the weather order? Oh, this thing is definitely slower now. So, oh no, it does come out. Beautiful. Beautiful. His drizzle comes out here. We still have it paralyzed, which is gorgeous. And Drought is flying. Drought is flying. So we have the Drought out and about. That's just lovely. And I feel like we have to just double down into this guy, right? Half to. What's the, what's the action on this thing? 100. Okay, yeah. We're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna drop this. Do that, and I could go for a blade here. Which is exactly what we're gonna do. We do that. We do have the salt vest on our uh, on our ground on, which is lovely. We're gonna go for a water spout. You guys should be able to soak this up. Yeah, that's that's easy. We have a salt vest on ground on. My uh, my Zassian's plus two on special defense, which is great. This thing's gonna go for an overgrowth. And it's coming out to the wire. He's dead here. That's fine. Is he dead? Yeah, he is dead. Cartana is boosting up. Zassian's gonna take him out, and it turns into a one v one situation. And I think I should be fine here. I think I should be fine here. We have that plus two special defense from that lovely little Gaston. This thing is paralyzed, so I'm wait I'm waiting for a turn where this thing just like doesn't move. Like it's due for one for sure. It's definitely due for one, but you guys know RNG sometimes isn't on my side. Sometimes it's not on your boy's side. But Zassi can get a little bit of HP. We are bulked up. We are bulked up. And we have the drought, so you know that stab damage isn't do it's not doing too much. It's not doing too much. But from here, we can just go for a uh, play rough because it is stab, but we're hoping we're not going to miss. We already missed one play rough, which was rough. Let's see what he does. He's paralyzed. There it is. We were waiting for that. We were waiting for that all day. Play rough flies. Get off. Half damage. Another one will actually finish up this battle. Even with that uh, overgrowth health, right? Yeah, we get it too. We get it too, baby. You got to love it. You got to love it. And now we're faster again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Trick room's gone. That's pretty much GG's. So we just got to land a stack. Battle was canceled. 2-0. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. I told you guys, this team is the best team at this moment. We're even going up against the same exact team. Just the one difference. He's got that east side Gastron. We got that west side, right? Or do I have the Gastrons mixed up? But it's Gastron versus Gastron. This is a turf war right here. This is a turf war. Exact same team going up against it. Just different color Gastrons. Uh, who should we play? Uh, maybe oh yeah, I want to bring Groudon. Obviously, Groudon's so good. But I think Charizard's just a solid lead around. Charizard's great. I don't think Storm Drink is going to be coming in here at all. We could set up screens. Screens and Paralyzes could really be doing us good, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring my Groudon and my Zassian in the back end, right? Or do I bring Incineroar? Incineroar is just looking good. He has a Groudon and a Zassian. Like, dude, it just works wonders, man. But setting up the screens could also work us wonders, and I'm going to lean towards that because, again, we use Incineroar pretty much like every single video, if not every other video, you know? So I'd rather get off my screen screen, so I'll set it up that way and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. And you guys know I like to have some fun in battle number three, especially when we won our first two battles, because, you know, we already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Let's try to have some fun with this one, so. That's my, that's my little thought process going on here. Let's see who this person leads. Let's see who this person leads. Okay, Incineroar alongside with Char Char. Char Char. And we're going to bring out our own Char Char. And I think I'm just going to add an extra Is that up a light screen? Or do I Thunder Wave? I could Thunder Wave and just drop a rock. Ooh. I think I'm just going to drop a rock regardless. Rock Fall. And I, I could Thunder Wave him. I could definitely Thunder Wave him. But. But. He's probably just going to fake me out. So I'm going to try to set up a light screen if I could. Let's see what he does. Let's see my dudes play. And this Charizard Dynamax rolling. It's weird because if this is the exact same team, it's all about speed ties. <laughs> it's all about speed ties. Like, we know what he's rocking. We know what moves he has. We know he has a Shuka Berry on that Incineroar. I'm guessing this is the exact same team, right? Just different color Gastron. Let's see what, what goes on here. I'm Dynamaxing. Hopefully he's not swapping. You know, this could take him out. Yeah, I actually should have been like, okay, he's holding the Charty. Back. This should still do a lot of damage. It should still do a lot of damage. I think this move would do more than any other move. Let's see. Let's see it could have been good. The, the plus one on the speed board. But we're going to go Dynamax for Dynamax here. Let's see if he's dropping rock too. Let's see if he's dropping rock. I had first animation, but that doesn't always mean that uh, we're going first. Let's see. It's definitely a, it's definitely a speed. 
Unless, again, he has a totally different statistical team. The same Pokemon with different stats. We'll see. Maybe this thing is not holding the Charity Berry. That could be amazing. Gonna go for the Fake Out. We saw that all day. Real, little bit of Clapskies. And who's gonna go first for to Charizard? Our Charizard is. And this thing is not holding the Charity Berry. So, same exact Pokemon, just different items. Now, this thing's dead, right? Get him out of here. No! What you mean? Bro! This game's whack! <laughs> this game's whack. What's this thing going for? Go for go for Rockfall. He goes for Airstream. So now he takes speed. Now he takes speed. Me no likey. Me no likey that. Um I think I'm just going to let's see how much this buffets do actually. Will another buffet take that out? Kinda wanna bank on it. Kinda wanna bank on it. It's tough. We're gonna go for the airstream. I'm gonna set up this light stream all day. I could slow him down, but I'm just gonna set up this light stream. Light stream's definitely reply. Oh, I probably should have set up a reflect. He definitely has his ass and ground on in the back end. I'm stupid. Why am I so stupid? Set up the reflect, jeans. Let me press B. B B B B B B B. Undo turn. Undo our turn. Reflect would have been great for us. Would have been great for us, dude. We know he has ass and ground on in the back end. We know he has that in the back end. We know it. Now he's gonna wildfire into my Grimmy Grim. Wow, he wildfires into my Grimmy Grim. That's fine by me. And we're gonna drop a nice little airship. Take back our speed because we won. We're gonna take back our speed all day. We're gonna airstream here. And I'm gonna have to set up a wildfire next turn. So airstream's poking out here. That's some great damage. We love that damage. We love that damage. We love it. We love it. Now I can actually bring out ground. Oh, you parting shot? Come on, man. What you mean? He parted shots. If he brings out Groudon, then we will not bring out our Groudon. Actually, we might have to. No, he's... Oh, no, he's bringing out Groudon. Just so the Buffets don't come through. What a play. I'll give it to him all day, but I know my boy outspeeds now. I know my Charizard outspeeds his Charizard now. Let's see, he brings out the Groudon. We have to go for a while. Hmm. Do I bring out... I have to bring out my Groudon. I know, okay, solar power just kills him. Okay, I'm cool with that. <laughs> forgot about solar power. So I think, he, I think he had a good plan going. He just forgot about his ability. So solar power will take out his Charizard. I don't even think the Buffets were going to do But in this case, uh, I should bring out Zacian. You have speed orc? Right on really good here, too. I'm just going to bring out Zacian. Zacian's definitely going to play. He's going to hard swap somebody back into... Uh, Oh, no, I thought he was going to bring out Zacian. I, th I thought he was going to hard swap somebody back into uh, Incineroar, but that's fine. He can fake out. I'm just going to Wildfire over onto the Groudon and try to take it out. Intimidate coming out here. I could hard swap. But I think I just protect my, my Zacian from here. Yeah, we got to protect our Zacian and set up this lovely little Wildfire. Wildfire, protect. Let's run it. Let's run it because I just don't want him faking me out and then going from there. Solid battle. Solid, solid battle. The wildfire damage is chipping about. It is out and about for him, and it's going to be out and about for us, which is wonderful. We protect his ass. Let's see what he goes into. Go into the fake out. Try to double down on my boy. Go ahead. Fake me out. Yes, sir. He goes for fake out. Block. Block all day, baby. Block all day. We're going to go next. We're going to drop this little wildfire. And how much damage are we going to do onto this ground? Not bad. Not bad. This one could be a soul vested, and it kind of seems like it's a soul vested because it soaked it up like that. So now he's gonna fly. We have the Charty Berry. As long as this thing's not a crit, we should be able to eat. Okay, I don't even think it was crit, right? Beautiful. Charty Berry eating up all day. Solar power's gonna poke out here. And Wildfire is chipping. So now we have some speed rolling on our side. We can get a lot done from here. We can get a lot done. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Cannot go wrong with that damage. Cannot go wrong with that damage. Not at all. But from here, oh dude, I wish we had uh I wish we did have heat wave. At this point, Blast Burn, I really do not want to go for it because then we can't move on next turn. I'm going to Ancient Power, look for the KO with that. And then I'm just going to Blade onto the slot. Let's see, will Ancient Power even be able to take out Incineroar? I feel like it can't. I don't know why. And it might have Charty Berry. Or no, it's probably Rocket Chuka Berry. No way that thing has Charty Berry. What Incineroar rocks Charty Berry, <laughs> first of all? Let's see. Make a move, my dude. Make a move. Dang, dude, if we had Heat Wave. Oh, we had Heat Wave. 
would have been beautiful because a heat wave would have been able to take out the ground and then we could just take our sword into the instant war. But we're hoping this could take him out. Let's see. Make it happen, Charizard. Charizard! No! We do get all the stat boosts, which is phenomenal, but Charizard! We need that KO. That scene's gonna go next. And now this thing has, what is that? The figgy berry? That thing rocking the figs? It is the figs, dude. This thing's rocking the figs. Behemoth's Blade's gonna fly through here. Take out Groudon, no problem. And what do we do from here? What do we do from here? If he brings out Zacian, which he obviously is going to have to, I'm going for the Blast Burn. I'm going for the Blast Burn. I want that thing out of my face. He goes for Darkest Lair, and he's going to take out my Char. He's taking out my Char, dude. Not my Char. Not my Char. Bro, dude. That Incineroar should be dead. He should be dead. What is up with his Pokemon surviving on, like, one? That's an all-day thing. The Kartana survived it in the last battle. The Charizard survived in red. The Sing surviving in red. Get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face. We bring out a Groudon of our own. Uh, he's going to have to bring out Zacian. We're going to drop a Blades. We're dropping Blades, and we're doubling down his ass. It's our only call. No better call than that. I'm with it. He's plus one. I'm even because he minus me with Intimidate. And drop this. I'm going to be... You're blading into you. He could protect. That's fine. I actually don't mind if he protects. That just brings it more down to a 2v1 situation. The Incineroar should be slowest on the field. Solid battle. This is a solid battle. I always love mirror matchups because it's like you you kind of like know it's very similar, but you just have to outplay your opponent a little bit more than normal. So let's see what he's gonna do. The drought's out, so you know genes need some water. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what he does. He goes for a blade, he outspeeds us, that's fine. Who's he going after? Go after Groudon? We'll soak that up all day. Yeah, he goes after Groudon. That should be easy soaks. Yeah, we soak up all day. Zacian should go next. Behemoth Blade into him. And then this Blades, I think, should be able to pick up an easy double KO. He should be able to outspeed this uh, Incineroar. Look at that. Look at that. Good. Good. Good, Groudon. Blades come out here. That's GG's right. Double kill for the perfect record. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like I said, the best team at this moment. And I just proved it to you guys right there by doing three battles and winning all three in a row. Can't get much better than that. Bang, bang, bang. Your boy does it. Three wins, three bangs for you guys. Perfect record, no problem. Like I said, the best team at this moment. You guys should definitely rent it. Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen and is always down in the link in the description below. Or not even link in the description below. It's just chilling in the description below. But there it is, guys. Zassian and Groudon team, phenomenal. Really showed it off to its fullest potential. We got to use that Charizard Dynamax in plenty of times. Groudon with that Assault Vest coming in, doing some big damage. Zassian, as always, is wonderful. And Cinework, great Pokemon. Grimstrong for support. And we even got to show off Storm Drake Gastron up against a Kyogre team. I should say Kyogre Trick Room team because we Dynamax this Gastron in the Trick Room as well. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.